Hey, how's it going? This is Demon Driver here. I want to show you how to take a basic MP3 player and some PC external uh, speakers that you can use on an MP3 player or an iPhone and turn them into your own RC sound module to make your own RC sound effects like an engine starting up, uh, machine gun fire, rockets launching. Alright, so uh, let's get to that and this is an inexpensive RC sound module for any RC plane you own. Let's get working. So what you're basically going to need is um, a little mini MP3 player like this, and you're going to need a pair of mini uh, speakers like these. And uh, you can buy um, both these things for no more than uh, ten, fifteen dollars. That's it. Okay, what are we for this this um, experiment? Well, basically, all you really need are the cheap um, dual speakers that you can get at uh, any dollar store. They're basically uh, PC backup speakers or MP3 backup speakers and what you do is and then um, what you also need obviously is an MP3 player. Now this is a bit large for what I want to do. Um, to make this uh, feasible you would need a wrist MP3 player or something about half this size. And it would make sense to only have your sound effects tracks on it. Okay, that way you're not sitting there trying to find your soundtrack. You have it right there. 727, uh, Metroliner, DC-3, P-51, um, whatever, you know. Yak-3, it's all right there. So what happens is, what you do is, you basically, you disassemble this, you open it up, and you take the speaker, you take the speaker out. Okay? You're going to have the speaker and you're going to have a circuit board and then you're going to have these, the, you know, these come in a pair. There's two of these speakers and one has the power, okay, one has the, uh, the battery connectors. So you very gently disassemble, you disassemble these, you either cut the wire and, uh, you know, run it through the plastic and re-solder it or you cut the plastic where the, um, where the wire runs through. Okay, because the speaker wire that connects the two of them up runs through the plastic. There's a little hole there, and you have to basically um, you have to cut that. So you use a uh, you know kind of a really strong uh, shear, and you cut that apart. And what you come up with is you're going to have these speakers um, bare. They'll be by themselves. And to be honest, um, these speakers are are, are fairly heavy. Um, Matter of fact, let me let me weigh how much uh, even one of these speakers will weigh. We're talking about maybe uh, I don't know, maybe two ounces, two ounces or so sp per speaker. So this whole setup may run you, um, you know, maybe four to five ounces, six ounces for your sound module. Um, Obviously, the more speakers you have and the bigger speakers and the more power you're running into them, the heavier they're going to be. So this whole setup may be half a pound to, a you know, quarter of a pound to half a pound in extra weight to your plane. So, you know, like any kind of an add-on, there's, uh, there's always a downside. All right, let's go ahead and try the jet sound effects. Um, this is my new TWA DC915 uh, vintage 1960s paint scheme. And that's under construction, but let's go ahead and put the sound module into this and um, duplicate the DC-9 starting up with the engine starting up. And uh, so we can, you know, if we wanted to, we could add that to the, um, to the EDFs later on, you know, as, as I'm starting to crank up, you know, as I'm starting to fire up the engines, I give that sound effect before the actual EDFs kick in, just to give it that much more of a scale effect. Alright, let me take the MP3 player 
and the uh, the actual the speakers and the um, the battery harness. Now, instead of four AAA batteries that the system originally came with, you can use one five or six volt life battery or a little miniature uh, lipo, poly lipo, if you want. So I'm going to right now put the speakers. Now again, this is all a self-contained unit. This is all, you know, by itself, powered by itself, doesn't, you know, I'm not using any external wires or anything. This is all going to be put up inside the DC-9, or at least, at least the speakers are for this little test, just to kind of show you uh, what it's going to sound like. So let me turn on the system. Let me go ahead and put the first speaker. These are like two and a half, two, two and a half inch speakers. Okay, the first one's up and in. Let me put the second one in. All right, the second one is in, inside the plane. And the MP3 player would be obviously put inside too and everything. Now I was thinking of having like a little servo, a separate servo beside the MP3 player where the servo arm actually moves and presses the the advance button. So track one would be DC9 startup. Track two, DC9 running at idle. D track three, throttle up, taxi out. Track four, full power at the runway, getting ready to take off. So you can do that. One engine starting up. Here comes the second one. Getting louder. loud. I mean, it's nowhere near as loud as an EDF at full power. It's maybe, you know, way nothing. But to get to the EDF, to do that to start up, and then you kick in with the EDFs, that would be pretty cool. So that's it with the, uh, that's how it sounds with the DC-9. So let's go to what I primarily designed it for, and that's turboprop and propeller-driven aircraft, because electric prop-driven aircraft are very quiet. All you normally hear is the whoosh of the propeller, but if we can go to a turboprop, you know, put this module in a turboprop or something, that's where it really shines. So let's go to that, and uh, let's do that next. Okay, now what you see before you is the fuselage tube and nose section of a um, Fairchild Metroliner SA-227 that I'm working on, and there's her sister in the back. This is going to be a Sabina, that's going to be an Air Lake New Zealand, so this fuselage design is perfect for this kind of system because it's like a base cannon. It's a natural, you know, base cannon. What you see a lot of guys with sound systems in their cars, they have a base cannon in the back. And that's what this kind of does. Now, the tail section, of course, isn't on because this plane is still in its, you know, in its building phase. But let me go ahead and pop this system inside. And I actually have a, um, a Metroliner uh, soundtrack of it starting up. Okay, now I popped the speakers. I put both speakers down inside the fuselage tube, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and start this up. And this is an actual soundtrack of a uh, Metroliner starting up, uh, right engine, or engine number one, then engine number two.
speakers inside there. Here comes the second engine. It's the second engine starting up. You can hear it get a little bit louder. for basically an electric propeller driven aircraft, um, a turboprop, a warbird, or something like that, because normally they're very quiet in the air. An EDF isn't, really doesn't need the sound. When you're starting up with an EDF jet, like the DC-9 of what you heard, it might be nice to add that sound effect in the beginning as you're basically spooling up, as you're starting up. But, you know, this system is really geared for a turboprop or a propeller driven aircraft, World War I aircraft, Fokker, you know, DR-1 or, you know, a spot or something like that. This really shines with machine gun fire, radial engine. So, um, but basically I hope I showed you how you can easily take an MP3 player or um, a mini MP3 player or at a sound system, a little basic uh, speaker set and hook them all together and make your own affordable, that's the key word, an affordable sound system and sound module for your RC airplane. Okay. I, uh, again, if you have any ideas or any ways to tweak this system and even make it better, and any ideas to share, anything I didn't go over, please, uh, you know, uh, put a response down below or send me a response video or something, and I would be happy to have it. And again, in the end, it's only going to help all of us in the RC community of uh, making better, inexpensive, affordable things to make the hobby better and really just make the hobby more enjoyable. All right, this is Demon Driver. I'm out of here. And again, thank you for your time. God bless.